And welcome back to Atlanta and Company. I'm Holly Furfer. With the power of a disco beat and live theater, Sister Act the Musical bursts to life on the Alliance stage to inspire faith as it celebrates the power of music in its fullest, truest voice. And here to tell us about the show is director Peter Schneider and Beth Malone, who plays Sister Mary Robert. Welcome to Atlanta and Company. Thank you, Holly. Thanks for having us. Glad to have you here. So, Peter, what made you want to bring this to the stage? Well, I think it's a really fun, exciting, funny musical and movie, and it's really about faith, about believing in your fellow man, and so those two things really attracted me to the project. One, it's spiritually uplifting, and it's disco and it's fun. I love it, disco and fun. And how close is this to the movie, bringing it to the screen? Because we've all seen the movie with Whippy Goldberg. Fantastic movie. Yes. Uh, all new music. Mm -hmm. Al Menken and Glenn Slater wrote all new music. Al Menken, you know, from Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast and Little Shop oh, of Horrors. Right, okay. Fantastic composer, Glenn Slater. A great book by Billy and Sherry Steinkellner. So it follows the idea of the movie, the emotional content of the movie, but it's all new and all original. I love it, new and original. So who did you recruit to do this project once you got the okay to put it all together? First you start with the book writers mm -hmm. and the composers. Right. And then you sort of workshop and you hire actors like fabulous Beth Malone here, mm -hmm. and uh, Don Lewis, who plays the Whoopi Goldberg part, the Dolores character. And you sort of all put it together, and you do workshops, and now we're here at the Alliance Theater doing the production. That's great. And let me ask you, Beth, about the character you play. Tell us about her. I am the one who's not a full nun yet. Um, I'm a novice, that's what they call me. <laughs> the novice nun. <laughs> yes. I've been there for two years, and I'm just about to take my vows, or maybe I'm not. It's, uh, it's uh, an issue for me. Uh, I love the issues. <laughs> it's an issue. The issues. It's an issue. And what's your uh, what's your character's relationship with Dolores? Oh, she comes into the convent and just blows our mind. Blows my mind. I've never seen or experienced anything like her. She comes in like a tornado and just rocks our world and changes our lives and um, changes my life tremendously. And in changing your life, how does then your character sort of transform throughout the musical? Um, she really, uh, Dolores comes in and gives me um, a role model that that. Because I think she's a nun, and she's a really fun nun. I think, well, I could be like her, and, and I grow so much because of um, having that positive woman role model to look up to. And what kind of impact does Dolores have on the sisters in a, as a whole, the whole cast? Well, I think the whole idea is to have somebody who may not believe in, the, in God in some sense, and does not have faith. And the two of them, both the nuns and Dolores, come together and discover there's ways to worship, there's ways to believe in your fellow man that may not be the strict religious ways. And what Dolores brings is a sense of freedom, adventure, but positiveness to them. And they, the nuns, bring to Dolores a sense of faith. And why might we recognize Dolores? Where would we have seen her before? If we go, oh, she looked really familiar. <laughs> <laughs> a different uh, world. She was on a different world. She was a star of a different world. And she's done many, many projects. Terrific. So don't knock yourself crazy going, I know, I know. Uh, who she is. <laughs> yes. And um, this is going to be the world premiere here. Correct. That's very exciting for us. Have either of you been part of a world premiere show before? Well, I did Lion King, the Broadway musical. Wow. And Aida. So I've been very much involved in these things and made lots of movies that uh, had uh, Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. So the idea of doing things that are new is very exciting. And Beth? Yes, last year. I spent the last year originating the June Carter Cash role in Ring of Fire on Broadway. Wow. So this is my second um, birth of a brand new musical. And, um, you know, there, the, there are similarities in the two experiences, but they're very, very different also. Is there a different pressure when it's a world premiere like this where everybody's watching, everybody wants to see it, it's something very new? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Short answer? Yes, it's really yeah. hard. <laughs> and, it's, and it's awesome. It's exciting. It's way more fulfilling than just doing Oklahoma for the 80th time, you know. Right. It's right. more challenging. It's also more dangerous. Things go wrong. It doesn't quite land. The mm. song doesn't quite work. Mm. They have a new song. Uh, Al and Glenn have written four new songs. Uh, for tomorrow night, <laughs> yeah. and we have new lines tonight, yes. and so it's continu continually changing. How you mentioned all the, the 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 productions you've done with Disney. How does something like this differ than doing, say, The Lion King? Well, you certainly don't have the resources. I adore Disney, and I adore, yeah. I, adore I worked there for 19 years, wow. and adored every moment of it. But and the, it is about having money and resources because the arts. Besides being art and doing art and doing theater, you need money to do it. Mm -hmm. And when you have a large corporation behind you, you have sometimes more 
uh, flexibility to spend money. Right. This is a much tighter situation. It's the Alliance Theater, which is a fantastic not-for-profit mm -hmm. theater Absolutely. here in town. So you have different constraints, mm -hmm. but they're similar. Wonderful. And you've done, obviously, you said you just came from Ring of Fire, June Carter Cash, that role. Yes. Um, what is it, I mean, you've had a lot of experience. What is it about the theater that is so different than, say, doing, um, you know, TV or film? What is it that's the draw about theater? Because we meet so many actresses who say, this is my life, this is my spirit, this is my fire. Well, you know, there's a huge um, influx of TV and film stars into New York who want right. to return to their roots, and there's a good reason for that. It, it, there's nothing like the experience. I mean, it's, it's the hardest work you'll ever do mm -hmm. because you have to bring it eight times a week, and, um, but equally fulfilling. As hard as it is, there's an equally fulfilling flip side to that. And, um, you know, honestly, like, it's the most amazing experience of my life actually to get to sing this particular song that I'm going to sing for you in a minute um, eight shows a week it's really ama it's an amazing experience I also think having a live audience is, mm -hmm. is there's nothing like a performer standing in front of an audience and either them laughing yeah. crying yeah. singing or clapping or not right, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> it's immediate feedback yeah. in terms of when she sings the song the audience erupts and it's very satisfying I think for a performer to be there and for a director to see that what you've created with the authors actually lands mm -hmm. with an audience emotionally, that they then express it. In film, you just never know until it opens. Right. And then the actor who's been gone for six months goes, oh, yeah, I made that movie six months right. ago. Yeah. And it's right. a distant memory. It's a distant yeah. memory for them, right? Plus, with this show, the band rocks so much oh. that it's like you get to be a rock star. I mean, the band is like, oh, it's like being a rock star. I mean, the whole deck vibrates because the band, you don't know what this feels like. I keep telling you it's awesome. But the whole, the whole deck vibrates when um, the band builds underneath, and it's just so awesome. I wish everyone could feel what it feels like. Well, we, yeah, I wish we could too, but I, I totally think we'd do. get thrown out of town. <laughs> and speaking of, you guys are from California, right? Yeah. So how are you finding Atlanta? You've been here for a few days, and you'll Two be here weeks. for a little Two bit. Weeks. Wow. So how do you think? What do you think of our city? It's fabulous, isn't it? There are three blocks I've been on are awesome. <laughs> the <laughs> working hard. The restaurants here are great. Yeah. Yes, yes. The people are lovely. Oh, good. The theater's fantastic. And yeah. flying biscuit. I've been having breakfast with yes. flying biscuits. Yes. Hello. One of the best oh biscuits in town. I know. I hear you. Oh, I didn't come to Atlanta looking like this. Butter. I was just like, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> i got to get me this. Well, great. We're glad you're having fun. And we are excited you're going to perform that number for us, you said. That's All amazing. right. And I want to remind people, you don't, don't miss your chance to see this new musical. Um, be sure to, it'll make you laugh. You're going to be dancing down the aisles. It is a big disco rock show. Sister Act is now showing at the Alliance Theater, and it's going to run until February 25th. And tickets are available at the Woodruff Arts Center box office. Just call 404-733-5000, or you can go online to alliancetheater.org. And this segment was paid for by the Alliance Theater. And welcome back to Atlanta and Company. I'm Holly Furfer. Now, before the break, we spoke to the director, Peter Schneider, and Beth Malone, who plays Sister Mary Robert in the new stage play, Sister Act. Now, Beth is joined by music director and conductor of the play, B.A. Huffman. We call him B.A. And they're standing by with a preview of what we're going to see at the theater.